Hey everyone, it's Brian back with a brand new toy review. Today we are checking out a new set of Mini Mates based on the winning award winning comic book, The Last Ronin, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's, if you're not familiar with it, it takes place in a future New York. Um, the rest of the turtles have been killed off with only Michelangelo still alive and he's on a quest for vengeance uh, because of his fallen brothers uh, and it comes with four figures as you can see here um, and if you don't want to take it out of the box it does come in this kind of nice display box that does open up as you can see so you know let's take a look first off we got Michelangelo, he is fully weaponed up like he is in the comic. Uh, his broke, you know, Leonardo's broken sword, uh, his own nunchucks, Raph's size, uh, Donnie's staff, and another one of Leo's swords. And like all mini mates, you know, great, uh, some points of articulation, uh, a little hampered by all the bulkiness that's here but you know it's one of the great things about mini mates you whoops can kind of mix and match that <sighs> was not supposed to happen let's try and take off the tunic that's what gets me for screwing around but this is a really cool design uh really impressed with this Love the way it came out, and there's pretty much a holding place for just about every weapon here, which is really nice. <clears throat> Next off, we have April O'Neil. Yep, she survived. Uh, she has one of uh, Sensei Splinter's books dressed up in just, I guess, future wear. Uh, she also comes with the head of the Fugitoid. He was been his own comics and guest starred several times in uh, The Turtles. It's a uh, scientist's brain trapped in a robot's body, kind of an interesting premise, and he's on the run because uh, where he came from, robots aren't supposed to kill humans and he's falsely accused. Uh, next off, we have Casey Marie Jones. She is the daughter of Casey Jones and, of course, April O'Neil. Uh, here she is at in the, uh, you know, last issue in her own comic, Mask, and she wears her weapons on the back. Yeah, you can see a nice little hood here. And she can hold her weapons and, again, like all mini mates, you know, a lot of posability and Finally, this shiny guy, Oroko Hiroto, and I butcher these names. He's in, uh, looks like this Splinter's ancestors. He's kind of coated in this liquid metal uh, suit. Um, the This is all, the head is all one piece, so it doesn't come off. It would, you'd have to pop off the entire head, but still pretty great um you know last run was a great comic series so it's really nice to have this four pack um it's really cool uh, i'm really impressed i don't know why i should be at this point in time <laughs> with mini mates after all these years but these are great some of my favorites um thank you so much diamond select for allowing us to check these out. Um, if you check down on the links below, I will have where you can find your own, uh, as well as where you can see some other pictures, and of course, all our socials. And as always, remember to like and subscribe, so this way you know when the next video is live. Thanks for watching, everyone, and catch you later. Bye now.